last parametric equation question, we've got parametric equation x is sec theta plus tan theta and y is cosec theta plus cot theta, theta is between 0 and pi by 2. Show that x plus 1 over x is 2 sec theta. Then you're given the fact that y plus 1 over y is 2 cosec theta. And using a and that, find the Cartesian equation of the curve, that is with just y's and x's. And then we're asked to, to show that dx by d theta is as following, and then find dy by dx. Right, let's give this a go, part a. Uh, x plus 1 over x is this. So x is sec theta plus tan theta, okay, plus 1 over sec theta plus tan theta. Okay, that is x plus 1 over x. Now, at this point, you think, um, you know, what what could I do here? Um, well, what you could do is you could um, combine these so they have the same common denominator. So multiply this one by sec theta plus tan theta. And then all we'll have it over a common denominator, sec theta plus tan theta. Okay, now that would get you sec squared theta plus tan squared theta plus 2 sec theta tan theta plus 1, all divided by sec theta plus tan theta. Now you should know that 1 plus tan squared, so this here, 1 plus tan squared is equal to sec squared. So we'll, these will be a sec squared, add another sec squared, will be 2 sec squared theta plus 2 sec theta tan theta, all over sec theta plus tan theta. And what we can then do is factorize out 2 and sec theta, and we have sec theta plus tan theta on top, all over sec theta plus tan theta, and these cancel to get 2 sec theta as required. So you've done for those five marks there, 2 sec theta. This is equal to x plus 1 over x. Okay, so next part, uh, we know that the following are therefore true. x plus 1 over x, we've shown it's 2 sec theta, and we are told that y plus 1 over y is 2 cosec theta. And we're asked to find the Cartesian equation of the curve. Okay, so let's just go back to basics and remind us what this means. This is telling us that x plus 1 over x is 2 over cos theta. And what's this telling us? y plus 1 over y is 2 over sine theta. Okay, so um, what could we do then? Well, we could combine these to one fraction. This is x squared plus 1 over x is going to be equal to 2 over cos theta. And here, y squared plus 1 over y is going to be equal to 2 over sine theta. And now we can make cos theta the subject. Cos theta as the subject would therefore be 2x squared plus 1, sorry, wouldn't be. Uh, what we're doing here is we're cross multiplying cos theta on both sides, uh, x on both sides and dividing by x squared plus 1. We'd have cos theta is 2x over x squared plus 1 and similarly sine theta is 2y over y squared plus 1. Now, the only identity we know with sine and, and, and cos is, we know that uh, cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So therefore, we could write that 2x over x squared plus 1 all squared plus 2y over y squared plus 1 all squared is equal to 1. And that is a sufficient Cartesian equation. Okay. Next part, we're asked to show that dx by d theta is equal to this. So dx by d theta, dx by d theta is the differential of sec. Well, in the formula booklet, it tells you that d dx of sec x is equal to sec x tan x. That's in the formula book. So this would be sec theta uh, tan theta. And it also tells you in the formula book that d dx of tan x is equal to sec squared x. So this would be plus sec squared theta. Okay, so dx by d theta, 
um, what we could do then is we could look back at our previous work and what we could do is maybe um, we could factorize out sec theta so we have tan theta plus sec theta there now we know sec theta from the previous part is um, uh, well we know that 2 sec theta we know 2 sec theta is equal to um, x plus 1 over x which is equal to x squared plus 1 over x so therefore sec theta in particular must be x squared plus 1 over 2x so we could substitute in here x squared plus 1 over 2x and here we know that sec theta plus tan theta is x so this is multiplied by x and the x is cancel and we get ourselves what we're looking for which is a half x squared plus 1 for dx by d theta and um, part d um, finally we asked to find an expression for dy dx now let's work out dy by d theta firstly differentiating this with respect to theta if you differentiate cosec you get minus cosec cot so in our formula book we have d dx of cosec x is minus cosec x cot x that's given in the formula booklet so we can therefore write that this is negative uh, cosec theta cot theta and we're also given in the formula book that, that d by dx of cot theta is negative cosec squared theta. So we're going to have plus, uh, so plus negative, which is just negative cosec squared theta. Okay, so what we could do again is factorize out the negative cosec uh, theta. And what we'd have is cot theta minus cosec theta or plus even, sorry, factorizing out a negative from both. Now, cosec theta plus cot theta is y. So this would be minus cosec theta multiplied by y. And from the previous part, if you remember over here previously, y plus 1 over y, y plus 1 over y is equal to cosec theta. So therefore, y squared plus 1 uh, sorry, is equal to 2 cosec theta over y is equal to 2 cosec theta theta so cosec theta is y squared plus 1 over 2y so substituting this in would be negative y squared plus 1 over 2y multiplied by y we get ourselves negative a half y squared plus 1 and that's dy by d theta so combining it all together uh, what would we get then well we would write that dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta which is going to be negative a half y squared plus 1 all over a half x squared plus 1 which turns out to be the halves cancel so we have negative y squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 and we're done for dy by dx